Hey, what is up guys? I'm Anish Patel from AndroidRoots.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at Science Fox ROM for the Galaxy S3. And this is actually going to be supporting just about every major US variant of the Galaxy S3, including the AT&T, Cricket, Metro, Sprint, T-Mobile, US Seller, and Verizon Galaxy S3 variants. If you guys are actually interested in downloading this ROM, link is down below where you can go ahead and download this ROM for your specific Galaxy S3 variant in the video description. Uh, but here it is. Here is Science Fox. Let's go ahead and take a look around. It. Um, so here it is, here is the lock screen. Uh, so first of all, as you can see, we have all these options for Chrome, music or phone call music and in my case i changed it to gmail uh, originally it was uh, google hangouts right there so you have the option right there as well um, i believe you have some new wallpapers um, i don't think i've ever seen these before i know polar clock is new and i believe magic smoke holo spiral uh, grass and bubbles are new live wallpapers as well i Pretty sure I never seen these in any other ROMs, so I'm almost positive these are brand new ROMs or brand new wallpapers. <laughs> I might be a little bit crazy. I'm pretty sure I'm almost positive. Um, but also, you can see we have all this, also have this Halo option right here. Um, so as you can see, I have all these options for notifications. I don't have anything showing because I don't have any notifications. But if you did, it would be here. So let's go ahead and hide that right away, all the way in. And now let's go ahead and go into settings and take a look at a couple of these new options. So first thing is screen recorder. Yes, you do have screen recording. Uh, works pretty darn well. So video size right here, you can go all the way up to 720p, which is not bad at all. Um, be aware that it will take a lot more uh, memory uh, if you do 720p and depending on the length of the video. And all the way up to 100 megabits per second for your bit rate right there. And also you can go and record your audio at the same time. Um, don't mind that warning. That's just for older devices. Since this is a Galaxy S3, it should handle that screen recording and audio recording at the same time just fine without a hitch, without any hiccups at all for sure. Um, also under display and then brightness and then settings and then adjust. You have all these options for changing the lux at certain percentages. So you can go ahead and have fun with this just to get the per uh, perfect lux at each percentage. Um, there you guys go if you guys want to go and do that. And you can adjust it for sunset and sunrise. Uh, to orient to that uh, specification as well. Uh, dark UI just changes the settings to a darker look, nothing too crazy. Um, interface, you have a couple of options, and since we have so many options right here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the highlights of each section. So I'm not going to go in depth in all of it. Um, you can go and do that for yourselves once you do um, install this ROM if you do choose to. Uh, so under status bar, you have an option to go ahead and double tap the uh, status bar twice to make the Galaxy S3 to go to sleep. Really, really nice. If you guys don't, if you hate pressing the actual um, physical button, uh, there you guys go. Also, you have traffic meter right here to show the traffic speed right there, and you can go up to the frequency all the way down to half a second and all the way up to five seconds right there. Uh, pretty neat right there. Also, notification count right there. Um, you can go and change the battery style, so you can change it to icon, landscape, circle, text, or even hide it. And same thing with uh, signal right there. Um, quick settings panel. Let's go and take a look at some of these things so you can go ahead and change the layout, layout of it. Um, so originally camera was not in there, but I went ahead and added it and I want to show you this really quick, uh, nice feature. I never shown it. I should have uh, shown it a while ago. I completely forgot about this new feature and it's been in there for a while. So if you go and tap on camera, it actually goes ahead and launches camera within this quick settings. And if you want to take a picture, just tap on it and easily take a quick, quick, quick uh, picture. So if something really uh, crazy is happening really quickly, you just go ahead and launch it right here in quick settings, tap on it, and boom, you have that uh, picture. And it basically just autofocuses uh, by itself, and you can just tap on it. Really, really nice. And to close it out, just go ahead and swipe it back up. And as you can see, it is closed now. Uh, really, really nice. One of my most favorite features I forgot to mention in all the other ROMs a while ago, since it's not a new feature. Um, you know, it's been out there for a while. Uh, so it's pretty much for quick settings uh, right there. Um, also, you can do, uh, uh, I, I'll just show you it inside, uh, actually showing you the options. If you go on to swipe from the left, you get your notifications, and swiping from the right is your quick settings right there, or quick toggles, whichever one you prefer to say. A uh, notification drawer really isn't anything too crazy right there. Uh, lock screen, like I showed you earlier, you can go and customize this. So under slider shortcuts, you can go and change each one. So Chrome, calling, music. I can go and change up Gmail to something else. So we can go into apps, and let's say I want file manager. Okay, and now I have file manager. So let me show you that real quick. And there's file manager right there, and you can go ahead and launch it if you'd like to. 
So you can go ahead and change any of those slider shortcuts to whichever one you really do prefer or just remove it in general. Um, also, if you want to remove that camera widget, you can. Um, so I'll show you that reel here. So it's gone now. So you don't, you don't have any widgets, which I always forget to use that camera widget. So I always do disable that since it's basically just useless. You know, it's just wasting space or an option right there, which I, because I always forget, I just launch the application um, manually or from the app drawer or from the home screen, uh, which wherever it is. Uh, so for some weird reason, expanded desktop doesn't seem to be working for me. If I go and tap on it, nothing really happens. So that's there. Also, RAM bar, um, you have an option. So I changed the color to green. And then as you can see right here, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you go and hold down it, hold uh, hold down the uh, home button, you can go ahead and see the RAM uh, bar right there for how much RAM you're using. Um, also, Halo, like I showed you earlier, and basic themes. And you can go and get more themes from the Play Store. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. That is Cyan Fox RAM for the Galaxy S3, just about every US variant. Um, that supports this uh, Cyan Facts RAM for the Galaxy S3. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner. Really appreciate all the support. And link down below, go ahead and download this RAM in the video description. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus, which are also located, located down below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.